fear are the 15 leading cause of death in the United States, laying to waste millions. Until the system changes, we have to take personal responsibility for our health, for our family's health. We can't wait until society catches up to the science because it's a matter of life and death. Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode. It's Mel here from Raw Nourishment, where I empower, nurture, and inspire you to thrive on a whole foods vegan lifestyle. Today's episode is inspired by Dr. Gregor's book, How Not to Die. I'm gonna be ticking off 10 items yet again from the Daily Dozen. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, please check back to um, the first part of episode one and two, so it's gonna explain it in more detail. So what we're gonna be making today is my delicious breakfast oatmeal with fruit and lots of other goodies. Oh, another thing, because I don't have a kitchen where my stove is like right here so I can film, I'm doing this on the table. So I've had to do one thing off camera. I've made a turmeric latte. Ooh, yeah, see the color? Oh yeah. So turmeric is like the holy grail as according to Dr. Gregor, it's like, cures cancer, there's lots and lots of information about it. So I've actually just put in one tablespoon of, no, teaspoon of turmeric. I've added some grated ginger. Um, I've got, what else, a cinnamon stick in there, some sugar. I'm trying to get away from sugar, but I tried blackstrap molasses as a, a replacement because Dr. Gregor said that was a green light food. I can't stand it, so I think I'll have to make my own date sugar. I've also added in some pepper because I realized that turmeric and pepper go together for maximum absorption. And I've added soy milk and some water. So I've just got this little kind of like strainer that I use for my glass. I'm using glassware that you can see through so you know exactly what I'm doing. Let me find it right here. And I'll try not to splash my white top. I actually just filmed a my first get ready with me video, which is amazing. Okay. Oh yeah, let's get all of that in. I've got a cinnamon stick here. That's like, I don't know if you can see it. Oh, there we go. It's just expanded. I use cinnamon sticks in my tea like every single day. Shake it off like a dog. Any Mrs. Doubtfire fans out here? <laughs> you would know exactly what I'm talking about. Okay. Now the reason why I'm having the turmeric latte is I need to get turmeric in every single day. And let's just taste test and see how we go. Oh, yeah, baby. Maybe a little bit too much ginger, but that's kind of a good kick to it. I'm just gonna put the lid on until we get, get ready with the other things. So, that's done. Bowl. You guys know how to make oatmeal. It's the easiest things, but I wanted to show you how to get 10 things into it from Dr. Gregor. Now, oats is a whole grain. This, oh my gosh, when I was reading the book, I learned that oats is an anti-inflammatory, both internally and externally. And I was reading that cancer patients who have gone through chemotherapy actually use a scrub with oats in it to help decrease the inflammation on their body. So imagine what it does from the outside if, if that's what, no, imagine what it does to the inside if that's what it's doing to your outside. Crazy. Now I'm gonna have half a cup of oats because I already, I like it's like 9.30 in the morning. I'd finished Reform of Pilates in the morning. I filmed a get ready with me. I had lots of water and then I had a mandarin. So and plus there's gonna be a lot of stuff going in here. I normally would have three scoops. Oh, these scoops are a quarter of a cup. I just keep them in so it's just easier. Anyway, so I've got half a cup of oats. Ta -da! Oh no, that's not the first thing I do. Hold on, cancel that. The first thing that I do is I get my banana. These ones don't have enough spots, but mm, it's not a good open, but make sure you get bananas that have spots because that means that the sugars have fully reached their potential. So mm, it's got a bit of a bruise, but we'll mash it in, it's all good. So I'm just gonna mash this one here. This makes oats super sweet without having to, I don't know how I'm gonna go with talking on camera. This makes the oats super, super sweet without having to add like maple syrup or anything else. Oh my gosh, this is not the best. 
You want to do it on the bits of the bow. Uh, I kind of need a plate because these edges are so, oh, so messy. Anyway, 10 items off the list. So I wonder how you guys are all going. I got such a good response from the last video. I had two of my best friends, Christy and Danielle, if you're watching, hi, <laughs> both messaged me and they were like, Mal, I felt like I was with you, this is amazing. So that was kind of cool, because neither of my best friends live in the Gold Coast, Danielle lives in the Isle of Man and Christy, oh, you would have known, you would have seen Danny in my vlog when I went to Hawaii, that's why I went to see her, and then Christy lives in Macau. Okay. So we've got it mashed up. Now, let's go back to the oats. So we want half a cup, quarter, and a quarter. Now I mix this in. Now when I was in Hawaii, I couldn't afford milk. That's how expensive it was for me in Hawaii, especially coming from the Australian dollar and losing half your money when you go across. Oh, jeez Louise, it's gone everywhere. So I just mixed oats with bananas, but you would have seen if you watched my Hawaii series anyway. Oh gosh, all this talk about America makes me want to go back. Anyway, so I did apply for the 10K grant, that I was, which I was telling you about. And I asked YouTube and Queensland government if they could send me to America so I could do some work on some amazing projects with some people. I'm not gonna tell you what it is. It's gonna happen. I'm gonna use a law of attraction to make it happen. Okay, so now that's mixed in. Add a little bit of cinnamon. And let's get that one out of the way. Now, I had to buy this online because oh, we did have like a Nutribullet, like a fake Nutribullet, but it broke. And we have a large mixer and it doesn't do, doesn't mix up flax seeds enough because you can't eat flax seeds in the whole film. Well, you can, but they're going to go straight through you, which is like a waste of your money. So they need to be ground. So this is what I've got here. I bought this up by her. Now, Dr. Greg says one tablespoon daily. Mm, hold on, let me see if I can get my tablespoon. I just use it for my turmeric latte. Oh, do you like my new outfit? And look, guys, I'm showing my legs. Okay. But stay tuned for Thursday's video so you can see everything. Okay, what did it say? One tablespoon. I got these really, really cute um, like spoons from my friend's wedding. <gasps> They're so beautiful. One of, it, one of it says, a heap of love, a spoonful of laughter, and a dash of kindness. They're just so beautiful. Okay, flex seeds, put them in. Mix it all around. I can't remember why Dr. Gregor said flax seeds and not like chia seeds. Hold on. Let me just have a look on the book. I just got it on my phone. Because I don't like physical things because I'm a minimalist. Uh, what did I say? Flax seeds. I've like highlighted so much of this book. Okay, so he says... Blah, blah, blah. He said, I've talked about the wonders of flax seeds in a few of this book's early chapters, including those on high blood pressure, breast cancer, and prostate cancer. Da, 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 da. What else did he say? Oh, there's too much reading. Anyway, get your flax seeds in. <laughs> Next, what else? Let's make it a bit gooey. Peanut butter. Now, Dr. Gregor recommends two tablespoons a day. Now, some of you are probably freaking out, especially those of you that are trying to lose weight. Dr. Gregor actually has a video on his channel, I'll link it in the description for you, saying that if you eat nuts, you're not gonna get fat. And when I heard that, I was like, are you kidding me? So that's one. Mm, I did have some out of the jar before, so I'll just do one in a bit. I just love peanut butter. But peanut butter isn't even... Oh! He did say... Oh, hold on. That's probably a bad idea, wasn't it? Oh god, hold on. Ah! Welcome to my house, guys. I'm just going to have a quick drink of this. Oh god, it's so good. 
it's just like like a blanket, like a warm, fluffy blanket in winter. Oh my god, so good. Anyway, so I'll link the video below about nuts and apparently peanuts actually aren't even a nut, they're a legume. Okay, this is getting a little bit crazy. This is when I add a little bit of boiling water because I don't like to use too much soy milk or whatever plant milk you guys have. Always make sure if I'm buying soy it's organic because most of the crops where it comes from in America is genetically modified and hey, I don't want to partake in that industry and the Santa and all that rubbish. Nasty, nasty people. Okay, what else? That, that, that. Let me just have a taste. Oh, good lord. Peanut butter. We'll just use whatever nut butter I need to change over, but this is all I had. Um, I'm just going to add a little bit of soy. And then we just top the fruit and then that's it. It doesn't take this long, but I'm just chatting. Okay. So, on the weekend, I had the best day ever. On Saturday on the Gold Coast, there was a free wellness and yoga day, which was amazing. So I meditated for one hour. <coughs> and then I did an hour and a half of yoga, which was crazy because in the morning on Saturdays, I have reformal Pilates. So I am killing it on the workout scene. Oh my God. If you guys follow me on Snappy Chat, you would know that I was kind of like having a little breakdown earlier last week. I'm just going to take this fork out. By the way, if you watched my last video, you would know I eat everything as I go. Mm, okay. I need like a tea towel. This is not very well now. Okay. That. Anyway, so it, it was amazing. Felt like a million bucks. Holy hell, this is juicy. Alright, so I'm just putting some passion fruit on top. Oh, it smells so good. Love passion fruit. Good lord, it is so juicy. Oh, if only you could smell this. Oh, another thing that I learned from the book. Mm, kiwi? Yeah, okay. Another thing I learned from the book is that in regards to fruit, Dr. Gregor was saying that you need to look at fruit in terms of antioxidants because he said most Americans, and I know most of you guys are Americans, um, um, most Americans have like the typical fruit is like apples and bananas and the units that they're measured in is a, like it would only come to around like 60, 60 units. Um, in regards to like the antioxidant content but then when you look at like strawberries and blueberries you're looking at like 350 but when you go to black blackberries it jumped up to 650 units on the antioxidant scale I was just completely blown away because like I love bananas don't get me wrong but in terms of antioxidants, you're looking at like anti-cancer. It's just like a nutrient powerhouse that's going to help fight illness and disease within your body. So I'm like, yes, I can have bananas, but you need to get in your berries. Which leads me to my next one. No, this is not advertised and sponsored by Nanas. And I'm eventually trying to work up to organic berries, but Oh my goodness, I need to like sort my priorities out because this, oh, actually this one's quite good. For a kilo, this was like six dollars. For 500 grams of organic berries, it is nine dollars. Crazy. How much do you guys pay for berries where you are? I would love to know. Oh, look at the colors of these. I'm just going to get all the little broken ones today, I think. Oh, no, maybe not. So I'm meant to be having half a cup of berries. I ran out of blueberries 
and then I forgot to add them to the shopping list so we just have raspberries for this week but you know what guys you just do the best of what you can so don't punish yourself if you don't have the correct amount of things just do the best and then just next time you go shopping improve it good lord this spoon is too small the Daily Dozen and see how we're going. Am I recording? Oh yeah I am. Oh, I just had a massive freak out just then. I'm like, am I actually recording? Okay, let's go back to the Daily Dozen. These big sleeves are annoying me. Okay, so what have we got? I put beans in because we're having soya milk even though it is not a green light food but we're still having soya beans that have been extracted, so I'm ticking off one of them. Berries, we've ticked off. Three fruits, because we had two bananas and we had passion fruit. And a kiwi, I put the passion fruit and kiwi together because they're quite small. We've got flax seeds, yes. We have peanut butter, yes. We've got turmeric, which is in our latte. We've got whole grains, and then we've got water, because I mixed, I diluted my turmeric latte with a bit of water, and then we put some in here. So, that's 10 things ticked off our list. Now let me just tick off more because I went to exercise this morning so I can tick off another one. And I probably had another two drinks there. So, so far, by 10.20 in the morning, I've already ticked off. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. 13 things off my list. All right, now that I've made a mess, do you like my spoon? I always eat with this. Let me just bring this up. Can you guys see that? Yeah. I've completely messed up the bowl. But anyway, that's just what happens. And welcome to real life, guys. No Instagram filters here. All right, I just want another drink of my latte. How cute is my cup? Anime, if you're watching, thank you. She bought me this little cup when I came out of hospital. Oh. Anyway, so I've just started looking at mukbangs on YouTube. My gosh, Mummy Tang is like the queen of mukbangs. Or am I saying it wrong? I don't know. Oh wow, this is so good. Wow. Oh yeah. It's crazy to think that how easy it is to get 10 things in. But before I found the Daily Dozen, I never actually had, I never would incorporate this many things in. But it makes sense. Mm -mm -mm. For someone who's a really big chatterbox, I don't really talk very much when I eat. So this could get awkward. So that I'm telling you about. I can't remember. But I hope you guys are doing well. <laughs> that sounds so awkward. I hope you're doing well. I hope this is not too weird for you to see me eat. Or if it is, you <laughs> Maybe you guys should start making this while I make it. That would be fun. I just wish that I could see you, like, and get a little sneak peek <laughs> into who's actually watching. And I think with mukbangs, like, if you're not going to make something to eat, like you've already had breakfast, I feel like because they are a little bit longer that you need to <laughs> um, make a cup of tea. Make the turmeric latte. It's so easy. Just heat up some milk and add some turmeric, cinnamon, ginger, and pepper, and sugar. Oh my god, do any of you love blackstrap molasses? Because I really can't stand the smell. I think it was ruined for me when I went to a sugar mill. It was my friend Amanda. Amanda, if you're watching, hello! Um, used to work at one, and she went in, she took me in one day, and I just remember it 
stinking to high heaven and she's like, oh, that's the smell of molasses. Really don't like it, but I'm gonna see if I like it like in a, I make like Anzac biscuits. Anzac biscuits are like, um, like oatmeal cookies or flapjacks. I think they're called flapjacks in the UK. But whatever it is. God, this is so good. I actually wanted to make my um, tofu scramble for you, but I need to go to Kmart and get one of those camping little ovens. Not ovens, like hot plates. And then they've got like the gas lighters. So I can actually cook in front of you. It's just hard because my kitchen's not designed very well. I'm gonna use a law of attraction to manifest a new house. Oh no, someone's home. I can hear the tires spinning. This could get awkward. Who is it? Oh god, it's Peter. <laughs> he watched my last video and he was like, oh my god, you mentioned me so many times. We'll see what he's like on camera. He said he's not going to be home until like 12. As I said to him, I was like, I'll make you curry for lunch because he made me dinner last night. And then we'll have like, well, we're going to make the curry, but we're going to have that for dinner after we come back from Yin because on Mondays we go to Yin, which is like yoga. But we'll see how he's like on camera. He comes in with like a million bags. He's just finished um, teaching. And then he went to a session um, at the gym. So we'll see what kind of mood he is when he walks in the door. He's in a bright <laughs> fluorous shirt, you can't miss him. I'm live. <laughs> Do you want to say hello? <laughs> Get out, seriously? Get out, Dad, yeah. <laughs> and you said to be back at 12. Oh, sorry. It's okay. You can say hello before you said everyone. I'm like, who's coming home right now? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not looking very presentable. That's okay. Just come and say hello. There's room to speak so you can see. Hey? Did you have to come down? You out of no words. <laughs> Good lord. How did you go at training? Are you going to cut this bit out? No. Well, this you... is real life. Oh my god, we're up to 23 minutes. You, really... you, know, you know you can do live broadcasts on Facebook as well. Yeah, I don't want to do that just yet. And on YouTube. That'll be the same thing as, same thing as this. I know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? I'll tell you when you're finished. <laughs> Anyway, the room's a mess because I was filming a get ready with me this morning. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. but anyway. Alright. Let me go through the book and I'll show you. I'll read out some really, really cool facts that I memorized from last time. Well, not memorized, but I thought was really, really cool. One of them was about. Where is it? Let me see. I think it was under whole grains here. Because every week we buy bread. And there was a section within the whole grains that was, oh, here it is. Hmm, here it is. It says, um, a 2005 analysis found that people who eat more whole grains tend to live significantly longer lives independent of those dietary and lifestyle factors. Then he goes on to say, no surprise given that whole grains appear to reduce the risk of heart disease, type two diabetes and stroke. Eating more whole grains could save the lives of more than one million people around the world each year. So interesting. Then he talks about gluten. I'm not going to talk about gluten. Um, then there's another section where it's a five to one rule. I'm just flicking through. I should have highlighted the page. Um, we're getting closer. Okay, five to one rule. It says if you buy packaged green products, anything labeled on the front, like well, words such as multigrain, 
stone grain, 100% wheat, crack wheat, seven grain or bran is usually not a whole grain product. It says they are trying to distract you from the fact that they're using refined grains, which was pretty alarming to me. So this week we're actually um, trying to make our own sourdough bread, which is amazing. I went on to the Happy Pears um, YouTube page, who I absolutely love, and um, learned how to make a starter. I'm going to give it a couple of goes, and if it goes real well, I'll make it on my channel. Anyway, so he talks about the 5 to 1 rule, which is all about that the dietary fiber to carbs is 5 to 1, like that's the ratio. And if it's not, then what you're eating is not a whole grain. So we noticed that the bread that we were buying from Aldi um, wasn't a whole grain. So this week we're actually buying rice cakes. I'm going to try and make the sourdough bread in between. Anyways, my love. <laughs> I'm like taking forever to eat. I'm going to leave it right here. As we have been talking for quite a while. Just want to remind you to continue to make better choices than the day before. This is going to help you on your journey to become your greatest version. Share this video with anyone that could learn from more about the How Not to Die series. Or, you know, if you have someone that's sick or has illness and disease within their body, just get them to start reading the book from Dr. Greger. It's amazing. I've only read the second part. I need to read the first part, which is all about curing. Actually, let me go back and I'll read it. Which was the 15 leading causes of death, which is heart disease, lung disease, brain disease, digestive cancers, infections, diabetes, high blood pressure, liver disease, blood cancers, kidney disease, breast cancer, suicidal depression, prostate cancer, Parkinson's disease, and I don't even know how to say the last one. Iothrogenic causes? What the heck is that? Anyway, I need to avoid that. Anyway, loves, thank you so much for watching. Remember, continue to make better choices. I will see you next episode where I'm going to show you how to get this look, my little get ready with me. <laughs> and yeah. Thanks for watching. Make sure you try out the turmeric latte. I'll make a recipe video. Actually, no, I'm just going to put it in my ebook. It's just easier. Anyway, my loves, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next episode. Bye. The energies over the last, mm, I'd say, two weeks have been pretty bad um, in regards to relationships.